what's up guys back out of the beach I wanted to talk to you about uh, the cameras and some of the camera equipment that I use uh, to film these videos uh, obviously I'm fishing is like my number one hobby but uh, outside of that it's filming and uh, editing videos making cool content um, so just wanted to share uh, some of the some of the equipment that I use and uh, I brought my my cart today so that usually means I can bring all kinds of camera equipment too I'm not just walking down the beach with you know with just a couple rods so um, right now I'm kind of going all out I got uh, a GoPro Hero 9 um, right here that's my main camera usually catches most of my audio too uh, unless I'm using this uh, uh, DJI mic which I'll go into that shortly um, up here also got a GoPro Hero 11 um, that I got my 11 up here because it's it's actually cheaper or I'm sorry not cheaper but it's lighter than the GoPro 9 by like 30 grams it's kind of crazy they're they're the exact same size same batteries um, all that stuff I got the enduro batteries in both of them and it's it's pretty odd I, I wasn't expecting it um, but there's a noticeable difference you know when you have a big camera on your head uh, one's the GoPro 9 up there so uh, I put the 11 up there just um, cause a little less shake um, and then <clears throat> over here so here I also have a uh, GoPro S Hero 7 Silver and uh, this one I use to catch the third third person perspective um, I just have it mounted here to my sand spike, um, and I have this uh, cheap go, or I'm sorry, cheap uh, just battery pack um, from Walmart. I think they're like ten dollars, uh, and I have it hooked up here just for uh, just so this uh, this can record for hours and hours. I got a 256 gigabyte uh, memory card in it, and these uh, Hero 7 Silvers are really good. They, they, uh, they don't, for this purpose, they, they don't have uh, image stabilization. Um, so it's best not to put them on you as a third person if you run into to a fishing rod or whatever. And uh, so, and, and they're pretty cheap too. And, and you can find them on, you know, on Facebook Marketplace or online, uh, you know, eBay or whatever for, you know, like a hundred bucks if you, if you shop around. So they're really good for that purpose. And they shoot 4K video, so they, they, they shoot a really good uh, uh, video. And they don't, they don't suffer from the, the, the heat overheating problems that newer GoPros do, like the 10 and the 11 and, and so forth. So pretty cool. Um, yeah. And then here, this is the... Uh, this is the, what is it, Insta360 Go 2, this little camera right here. And this little piece pops out, and you can clip this into, into your hat. They make little mounts for it. Um, this thing has saved me uh, a few times. You know, when you're fishing out here, you don't get, uh, you don't get too many opportunities. Uh, it's hard enough to catch fish, but if you catch a fish and you're trying to make a, a fishing video and you catch a fish and your and your GoPro messes up or your camera or whatever, <clears throat> it's I, I, that's why I wear two two cameras. Um, GoPros let me down too many times with just problems with the camera, the image stabilization going wacky or, or whatever. So I like to uh, I like to always have a backup because you you know when you catch a fish and you miss capturing the moment you can't do a retake on it you know that fish is back in the water or you know or in the cooler you can't catch them twice so. also a lot of times when you're fishing with fishing and you're using a, a just a chest mounted gopro um and you're and you're fighting the fish a lot of times you're just filming your hand and nothing looks better than you know your, your hairy arm in 4k uh, so it's nice to have uh, one up up on your hat too, so you can kind of change perspective a little bit um, during you know the catch of the fish. So just a 
just a little point there another plus for having two cameras it's always a good idea to to have a you know a backup camera and this little uh this little camera has come in handy. Uh, it's also uh, pretty cool for um, you can uh, put it into put it on top of your selfie stick or whatever, and like, oops, sorry, and uh, you know stick it up really high. Get you can get like semi drone drone footage, looking pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm what I'm using today uh, to film to try to film uh, a fishing video, which uh, is really tough to do when you're not catching any fish. So uh, instead of making a fishing video, I figured, well, you know, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll make a video camera video. Um, so back to this DJI mic. So one of the things that, that I, I ran into with making fishing videos is if, if you're filming, if you're out fishing with a buddy and you're, you're, in, and you're videoing the fish while he catches it, the GoPro's here and the audio is pretty good coming from the GoPro as long as you're covering it, uh, you know, if you're out at the beach, it's pretty much always windy. So you always got to have something like this uh, wind slayer, which is just a cheap foam piece that fits around your GoPro and it, uh, it, it, it really does block the wind out. Um, same with this uh, little fuzzy thing on the end of the, uh, the DJI mic. And this, normally you need the GoPro Media Mod to, uh, to connect a DJI mic. Um, but the thing is like terrible. It's expensive and it's just, I hate it. So what I do is use the DJI mic to capture um, uh, video or audio straight to this device right here and then later I, I sync it up in my editing software so I can use this camera here and which doesn't have any kind of wind uh, the microphone is up here it doesn't have any kind of wind uh, capabilities to block the wind so it works good if you combine it with the DJI mic but um, back to my story uh, when when you're filming your buddy fishing and the GoPro's right here, the voice, their audio could hear your voice just fine, but if he's standing five, 10 foot away, the, you, you can't hear what he's saying. So um, the DJI mics, they come with two of these. So what I'll do is I'll clip one on him. I don't, I don't use the, the, the receiver, you know, that hooks up to the GoPro. I just, I just use these as basically recording devices. They're, they have like eight gigabytes of memory and they'll record like, uh, 14 hours of, of audio and the batteries last like five and a half hours so um, the, the the case that it comes with let me show you guys that So this is the case that it comes with. Uh, this is a charging case. So it comes with two, uh, two transmitters and one receiver. And normally you hook this piece up to your GoPro or to your phone or whatever, and it, re it uh, records the audio through these things. Um, I don't use it that way because especially with the GoPro, you have to uh, you know, use a media mod or, or this weird adapter that's huge and hangs off your GoPro. It's just not cool. Um, so if, if my transmitter starts running low on battery, I'll just swap it out for this one. Um, while this one charges, this thing will charge your, uh, audio, the audio transmitters and the receiver three or it'll recharge it two times. So if it's fully charged, you'll get three full five hour uses out of it, out of it. So it'll last a long, long time. Um, these are kind of, kind of pricey, but. To me, it's worth it. It gets really good audio. And that's a really big deal um, when you're you know, making uh, YouTube content or content for whatever. Um, audio is a huge, a huge deal.
So that's basically it. I just wanted to share that with you guys. And, uh, you know, uh, if, if you, uh, if you're seeing this and you want to check out our fishing channel, um, check out Beach Groceries Fishing uh, on YouTube and uh, that's terrible. So that's it. That's all I wanted to, wanted to say. I just wanted to share that with you guys. So if, if you like fishing videos, check out our beach, our beach fishing channel. It's called Beach Groceries Fishing. It's on YouTube. Just, just search for it. Um, or if you like um, some more of the the, uh, the behind the scenes things like the the cameras and and maybe you like both if you like those kind of videos make sure you like and subscribe because that's the kind of stuff we talk about on this uh, on this channel well and we'll do reviews of, of different camera equipment and and also fishing equipment so check it out share it like it all that good stuff thanks for tuning in